Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason with devslopes.com and in this video we are going to be creating the very first section of our website. So that's going to be this uh, top container here. So we've got this nav bar here and we've got a logo and we've got some links here. So let's visualize this so we know how to set it up in our uh, structure of our page. So we've got a nav bar. Uh, which we know is going to be a module because nav bars can be used in multiple places on our landing page if we choose. And we also know that we're going to be putting this nav bar in some type of a container. So we can think of a container since it's like breaking out sections. It's going to be a layout. So let's go back over to our text editor and we're going to be creating two things here. So first, let's open up your layout folder here and we are going to create a new partial. So create a new uh, partial here and we're gonna call this containers. All right, get the SAS extension there. And then while we're at it, let's be sure that we're importing this. And this one, it's containers. Okay, we've got that set up, and now we've got to do the same thing in our modules. We're going to add our nav bar. So underscore, and we'll call this nav bar. So we've got our partial there, and then we're going to import it. <clears throat> and this is going to be nav bar. Perfect. All right, so we're all set up to start designing. So let's check out our HTML and see how we have this nav bar structured. So we've got the body here and we've created a header, and it is a nav header, and then we can see that we have our container, and then we've built some rows and columns in here to hold our image, and then we have this nav menu with the nav list, and then we've got the nav items, and then the header is going to close. So let's go ahead and dive into the layouts and build the first container layout property here. All right, so go ahead and grab the container class, and then let's add some padding to this. So let's do a padding left of 15 pixels. We'll go ahead and do a padding right of 15 pixels. And then we're going to do the same thing with the margin, except we're going to set it to auto. And then we'll do the margin right to auto. And to assure that our container stack upon one another, we're going to give this a display of block. So now we've set up a default container class that we can use throughout our website. Now, earlier we talked about smacks. We talked about in our layouts to use the pound sign to call IDs. Remember, these are just a set of guidelines and personally, I don't want to create IDs for my containers. Use these guidelines and interpret it to your own uh, personal use. And so that's why I've gone ahead and inserted a class here. So we've got that set up, and now let's go ahead and set up our nav bar. So dive into our modules, and we're going to open up the nav bar. All right, so the first class that we're going to grab is the nav header. All right, so go ahead and grab that class. And then we're going to add some styles to this. We're going to give it a padding, and we're going to go 0, 0, 10 pixels. So 0 from the top, 0 left and right, but we're going to give it some padding here at the bottom. And then let's just give it a background color. And we're just going to grab our class, the, uh, the white here. So there we go. Now we're going to give it a white background. Now what we're going to do with this structure, just like in our HTML, how we have this structured hierarchy, remember we can use the same concept, the same principle here in our SAS. So right underneath that, uh, we've got a container that we're going to grab. And we're going to manipulate this container a little bit differently than the default properties that we added in our layouts we are going to add a padding of 10, 15, and 0. So 10 from the top, 15 from the left and right, and 0 at the bottom. And then we're going to give it the uh, margin right of auto, and then we'll give it a margin left of auto. All right, cool. So now we've got that set up, and we're going to even nest a little bit deeper, because now we have to hit the navigation menu and all of those list items. All right, so now we want to work with the navigation menu. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, and then we're going to start fresh right here. So we're going to grab the nav menu, and then we, we are going to uh, float everything in it right.
it's going to be font large and it already brings it up for us here because it's available so it's going to be a font large and then we're going to uh, make sure that the uh, margin and the padding is zero on this we want to add mar margin and padding to the link items itself but not the list that's going to contain those and then after we do the padding let's go ahead and get rid of the list style on this so that it doesn't uh, have any uh, bullet points or underlines now you're probably wondering what this looks like so let's go ahead and find out so open up your terminal and then let's add that watcher to our file here so wherever you saved your starter template go ahead and open it up in your terminal and simply start the watcher to CSS so the sass dash dash watch our sass directory into our CSS directory all right and so far so good I actually didn't have any errors uh, that's pretty cool <laughs> and then uh, let's come here and I think it's this one is our starter let's go ahead and refresh this and cool we've started adding uh, some style here so we've got our navigation bar here we've got all of our items over here to the right so let's continue working with this so that we can get everything lined up and get the font color to look correctly all right so right under our list let's go ahead and directly work with those nav items all right currently they're stacking upon one another and we want them to stack in a row and we can simply do this with a display of inline block this way it keeps them in a block element but it's going to line them up in a row all right and then we can go ahead and add a margin of zero and then we're going to do a vertical line to the top all right so the next thing in is we've got the uh, um, nav uh, list items here the actual nav list items itself so these nav anchors we're going to give a display of block and then we're going to add some padding to this and this is what's going to help spread them out a little bit so let's give it uh, five pixels top and bottom and then we're going to give it uh, 10 pixels from the left and the right next we're going to take away that underline and we're going to use the text decoration none all right we don't want these to look like links and we're going to uh, add a color here and let's go ahead and add our variable for this and we're going to use the uh, base dark cool so now we've added some some color to those links and we want to give this uh, a border to help spread these things out so we're going to do a border of one pixel solid and we're going to make this uh, transparent all right cool so we've got that set up for us and then we're going to take these links and we're going to do a text transform on them and we're going to do uppercase that way it takes all of our text and it just makes it uppercase for us self-explanatory let's go ahead and add the ampersand and we're going to add a hover to this and let's make this a we're going to change the text color and we're going to change it to red all right and remember when we use the ampersand all this simply does is grabs the parent of the uh, style uh, setup the style block that you're using here so instead of having to call the class the nav a we can simply because sass is awesome grab the ampersand and just do a hover with the color red now let's go ahead and check this out in the browser so I'm going to refresh this and we didn't have any changes let's check our terminal and I don't have any errors so what's going on here well let's dive back into the nav bar and let's breadcrumb uh, this style that we've just created so we have at the top our nav menu all right we know everything is floating right all of those links are on the right side all right we we know that the font size is large um, and we know that we removed the list style because there's no dots on that so we know that this section here is working what it looks like isn't working is these nav items so it's supposed to have a display of inline block which is going to put it in a row for us and that's not happening for us and then because this is breaking it's breaking this so what I'm thinking 
is we probably misspelled the class and we can double check that by jumping into the index. So we have our nav menu, the nav menu list, and the nav items. Oh, it's nav item. I believe I added an S here, and I did. So, cool, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that now. Now, that's a really important uh, lesson to learn here is sometimes when your styles aren't showing up and the terminal says, hey, everything has compiled correctly here, try checking out the, uh, the nesting that you've done here in your SAS. And we know that something broke right in the middle here. So if I go back uh, to the page and refresh it, there we have it. We have created the nav bar. So that's a wrap for this lesson. Let's move on.